Thank you, thank you. I'm Joe Rogan, and I'm here to announce the presidential battle, a boxing match between Obama and Bush with their managers to see who will take the presidency. Let's get started and go talk to our contestants. I'm not afraid. I'm yeah. Not afraid. It's been a ride. Everybody. I guess I had to go to that place to get to this one. Now some. My name is Obama, and I'm here to kick Bush's butt. Are you talking to me? You literally have no chance. <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. What a punk. Hi everyone, it's Joe Rogan here, and this is the presidential battle. Here on the left, we have Obama with his manager Biden. Here on the right, we have President Bush with his manager Gore. Okay everyone, the power shall be vested in a president of the United States of America. He shall hold his office during term of four years and together with the vice president choose the same term be elected. Psst, Obama, come here. All right, listen, each state shall appoint, in such manner as the legislature thereof may direct a number of electors, equal to the whole number of senators and representatives to which the state may be entitled to the Congress, but no senator or representative person holding an office or trust or profit under the states shall be appointed an elector. All right, Biden, bring it on. Do, Bush, get this. The Congress may determine the time of choosing the electors, and the day on which they shall give their votes, which day shall be the same throughout the United States. Now tell me why are you going to win? Well, I think I'm going to win because I'm a natural born citizen of the United States and I'm 35 years old and best of all, I've been a resident over 14 years in the United States. To both boxers, understand this. In case of removal of the president from office or his death, resignation, or inability to discharge the powers and duties of the said office, the same shall devolve on the vice president, and the Congress may by law provide for the case of removal, death, resignation, or inability, both the president and vice president declaring. What officer shall then act as president, and such officer shall act accordingly until the disability be removed, or president shall be elected. A. Hey, Rogan, don't you forget that the president shall at stated times receive for his services a compensation which shall neither be increased nor diminished during the period for which he shall have been elected, and he shall have not received within the period any other involvement from the United States or any of them. Yeah, dude, don't forget that. I was actually just getting there, Biden. But anyways, now will both boxers do this? Before he enter on the execution of his office, he shall take the following oath or affirmation. I do solemnly swear, or affirm, that I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States, and will to the best of my abilities preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Obama, I know you know this, but please don't forget, you'll be Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy of the United States, and the militia of several states, when called into actual service of the United States. You may require the opinion and writing of the principal officer in each of the executive departments upon any subject relating to the duties of their respective offices, and you shall have power to grant and pardons for offense, offenses against the United States, except in cases of impeachment. Okay, Biden, I got it. Okay, Bush, don't get too excited, but listen, you have you will have power by and with the advice and consent of the Senate to make treaties provide two-thirds of the Senate present conquer, and he shall nominate and by and with the advice and consent of the Senate shall appoint ambassadors, other public ministers and consuls, judges of the Supreme Court and all other offices in the United States, whose appointments are not herein otherwise provided for, and which shall be established by law. But the Congress may by law vest the appointment of such inferior offices as they think proper in the President alone in the courts of the law, or in the heads of the departments. Well, when I'm president, I shall have power to fill up all vacancies that may happen during the recess of the Senate by granting commissions which shall expire at the end of their next session. All right, folks, we're going to head out and take a media break and give these boxers a chance to cool down. Let's go out on the streets and interview some people. Hi, it's Joe here, out on the streets interviewing people. We just came across Ashley. Let's see what she has to say on who will win. 
I think Obama's going to win. Okay. And here's Kennedy Bailey to put her input on who she will think will win. I think Obama's going to win. Hi, everyone. It's Joe Rogan. We just came across this small dog on the street. We're here to interview him. So, who do you think's going to win? Obama or Biden? No? No no answer? Okay, let's get back to the boxing. Listen, Obama, that punk has no idea what he's up against. You shall from time to time give to Congress information of the State of the Union and recommend to their consideration such measure as he, he shall judge necessary and expedient. He may on extraordinary occasions convene both houses or either of them in case of disagreement between them. With respect to the time or of adjournment, he may adjourn them to such time as he shall think proper. He shall receive ambassadors and other public ministers. He shall take care that the laws be faithful, executed, and shall commission of the officers of the United States. Well, Biden, need I remind us that the, pre the president, vice president, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, and other high crimes and misdemeanors. Yeah, good point, Obama. Go knock him out. Yeah, good point, Obama. Now, go knock him out. For the thousands